So, Stephen Chair for one day here with Noel Kenny. Noel, you're the, <coughs> the pastor for, for Liberty. Um, yes. Liberty Church, Liberty, three locations. So there's a church in Ardee Street, Clondalk and Bray. Yes. Um, I suppose the base out here, the One Day Project, obviously is a, is a part of Liberty as well. Um, so I suppose you've, you've been out here for the last two weeks. Um, I've just talked to Chris around the project, but it must be amazing for you to see, see what's been created out here. Yes, well, unknown. Like the location was unknown, like Lazutu, but then, um, but this been a, this has been a dream in our hearts for 30 years, and uh, we didn't know exactly where, but then um, when we landed here a few years back, we knew this is where we needed to be, and build relationships with the people, not just come in do a project and go, but then um, being in the village for the last two weeks, getting to know the chief, getting to know the people, getting to know the children, and uh, it's been just fantastic, and this is a dream. This is. It's been realised, and um, we do realise also it's still only just at early stages. Mm -hmm. But the impact that Chris and Sheila have had here has been amazing, hasn't it? In terms of the children, the community, it's it's unbelievable. It's like I think somehow ten years has been squashed into seven months, and what it would take to build relationships, have favour, you know, and um, have build those friendships that are really important to coming into it as strangers into a foreign land and uh, we've seen they have names that the people have given them, the chief welcomes them and uh, we've seen people, this is not our language, this is their language, that we, they've said we're family, that's what the chief said, we're not you now people coming in, we're a family of this village and look okay, at where we're together, yeah. it's like going into anywhere in Dublin, a bunch yeah. of strangers going in and all of a sudden becoming part of that community, integrated with the with the councillors and the Lord Mayor saying, look at you as a family, mm. that's how big. Yeah. That's I big. suppose just for people at home to understand the role of the chief, like it's, it's you know, for, for each village there's a chief, and without the chiefs, you know, blessing, yes. nothing happens. Well, we, we were here a couple of years ago and there was a mix up between the council and the chief, and because the chief wasn't informed, it didn't happen. No matter what the council said, the, the, the man on the ground is the one that has mm. to say, and then, so they are hugely important to be on board with a project. If not, it won't happen. Yeah. It won't happen. So I so suppose fundamentally, th this project is about it's housing orphans and, and vulnerable children. You yes. know, and to be standing in, you know, in the for in the first building of, of a plan. It's going to there's a number of homes planned, but you know that we're we're near ready to, to start giving children homes. Yes. Yeah, so like we're standing in a three bed house. And then uh, this house will have six children in it and a house parent. And then uh, to see, like within seven months, like this has only been four months, this has been built. And uh, we're ready for children. We were actually down in a church last Sunday in the Beauty Beauty, but not far from where our houses are. And there was a woman living in there with eight children in a church. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so we're like, they've nowhere to go, maybe. We don't know because we have official channels to go through, but like maybe this would be their new home, like, yeah. which would be amazing. I suppose my final question, now, you know, for people who know you or for people who don't, you know, you, you come from Dolphins Barn, and um, you grew up there, you know, you, you started your own church in, in Dolphins Barn, so you, so you know, kind of community where over the years, particularly the eighties and nineties, there was a lot of need. How has the need in this country, you know, how has it measured or how has it impacted you? Well, there's, there's obviously we've seen a lot growing up where I've grown up in. Um, there's you know, it's like the, the, the air, the land here just eats the shoes off people. You can see people like with shoes. Like I've seen kids that got shoes during the day, and I can see the, the landscape eating at that shoe. And then, um, and like the, the need is there, there's needs everywhere you turn. It's huge, huge, huge um, poverty. But, I've seen the biggest smiles, the greatest songs. Every night, them kids come over and dance, and we dance with them. I, I have children, and I'm telling you, I don't see this back home, I see the opposite. So where they're poor in material things, they're rich, and their soul is rich. Their eyes are little, their smiles are beaming. And I, 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 if you ask me which would I have, Stephen, I'd probably have this, mm. let's be honest. 